Hi there, my name is Charles Suaswan Msipa. Welcome to another presentation on complex functions in particular. We are going to introduce here power series called the Laurent power series or simple Laurent series expansion. To make some sense of this, let's consider a function of this nature. Consider f of z equals to 1 over z minus 1. What you need to observe with this function is that uh, this function is a problem at z 0 equals to 1. By z 0, I just mean a particular point z equals to 1. The function is actually undefined and therefore it fails to be analytic at z equals to 1. And you also note that this function has got a power series expansion which is of this form and it is convergent for z for the absolute value of z greater than 1 meaning that it is centered at a particular point, say z0 equals to infinity. Please uh, don't be confused here. When I use z0, normally I, I will refer to a particular point. In this case, just to differentiate, let's call the first one here z one. Now a point like Z1 is actually called a point of singularity. So a point of singularity or singularity is a point where the function fails to be analytic. So here f of z fails to be analytic. Remember we say a function is analytic at a point when it is called, when it is defined and uh, its derivative is also defined. Now as a function has a derivative where it is analytic. Now if we decide to analyze, let's say we've got a point of singularity z1 and we try to analyze the behavior of the function in the vicinity, now it's near the point of not on the point but in the, in the vicinity of the point, we come up with what is called Laurent, Laurent series. Now, in this case, what happens, we consider, let's say, point Z0, in this case, which is a, a point of singularity, and we also consider two circles which are concentric, let's say, circle C1 and another circle C2 with the radius R1. and R2. In this case, R1 is less than R2. So the function in this particular case will be considered for absolute value of z less than R2 greater than R2. One. In this case, we come up with a region of this nature, which looks like a punctured disk, and this uh, and the region of convergence will be the region between the two circles, and, and also on the circles. 
Now a function in this case, this function f of z here, we consider the analytic on the circles and in between the circles. And this region is going to, this region of compression is here is going to be called the annulus. The region of convergence here will be called the the annulus. Now the power series expansion which is developed here, like I we have said, the called now Laurent series expansion and they are of this form. Note that this is a double-sided series starting from minus infinity to infinity and the coefficient c0 here is like the center of the series so on the positive we've got uh, c1, c2, c3 and so, so on and on the side of negative we've got c minus 1, c minus 2, and so on. Now, we recall that in, in developing our, with our Taylor series, points of singularities are excluded, meaning that Taylor series do not have singularities. But in this Lauren series, we note that we've got this part from C0 to infinity, which is actually a Taylor, which has got a form of a Taylor series, and it's actually called the Taylor part of the Lauren series. And the pattern negative side from C minus one to infin to minus infinity is going to be called the non the non Taylor part or the principal part. It's very important to know these terms so that when we we use them, we all have got a common understanding of them. Again here, I'm going to, to introduce a special coefficient which from now on we need to get ourselves used to it because it's going to be very important and that coefficient is C minus 1, C sub minus 1 and this coefficient is going to be called the the residue. At this moment, we're not going to go into much discussion of uh, a lot of discussion on the residue, but it's important to know that this question has got a special name and it's called the residue, and we're going to see how important, how useful it is in our data work in this, in this chapter. I think at this stage, summarizing, we've seen that uh, summarizing um, on this uh, Lorentz series, we know that the Lorentz series is actually a series which come in two parts. That is important, two parts. It's double-sided. It is called a teller part and non teller part, or what you call principal part. And you must understand that the teller series is a series which is developed around a point of singularity. Otherwise, we'll be analyzing the behavior of a point or the behavior of the function 
around its singularity without really touching the point of singularity. In this case, if the series is developed is the point of singularity z0, the power series will come in terms of z minus z0. On the other hand, if zero, if z0 is actually the origin or is equal to zero, then the series will come in terms of powers of z. And what is important is that the power, the series in this case will always come in uh, two parts, the principal part and the teller part. Now, up to this stage, I think it's fine for the introduction. What I want to follow next is to look at examples where we can develop our skills in, in uh, expanding complex function in their Lorentz series expansion around point of singularity. Thank you for listening. Meet you in the during the future dis discussions.